Hi, I'm Anastasia. I'm a fashion student caring for an organic and regenerative fruit farm on Bunjilung country on the east coast of Australia. With my sister, I am learning to build, farm, garden, and live off the land. Today, I am naturally dyeing my clothes from ingredients foraged from the Australian bush. I'm going to forage ingredients, pre-soak at a copper mordant, experiment with soy milk, create a dye bar from eucalyptus leaves, soak the clothes overnight, and then see what happens in the morning. The whole process takes over 24 hours. I would firstly like to acknowledge that this work took place on the unceded land of the Arakwal and Minjinbul people, and that these processes of dyeing and finding pigments in nature have been practiced by First Nations peoples for so many years. It's early and time to wake up the goats. They also love foraging eucalyptus leaves, so it's the perfect job to do together. I've read that tallow wood can make a beautiful greenish brown colour, and that sometimes it can even make a rust red. The bark often makes a different colour to the leaves, so I'm going to collect bark and soak it in water for another day. Maggie, come here! You want to help? Thank you. Okay, now to collect some leaves. These ones are really high though. This isn't gonna work. I'm going to go look further in the bush for some lower branches. Magnolia and moth love the eucalyptus leaves so much. Every morning they run out of their pen and gobble up so many leaves that dropped overnight. They like the ones that are slightly dried out and eat them like chips. Very naughty. You're very naughty. No! No! Get off me! No! 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 Stop licking me! No! None for you! None for you! No, Mark! It's so important! You got some! You got some! Stop it, you two! Go join the circus! Stop!
Before we start the real work of lighting a fire, me and Moth are going to play a game on the seesaw. Time to start collecting wood for a fire. What? Hello you six, have you come to help collect wood? Now I'm going to rake the mulch away for fire safety. The big Cayugas are very interested and very scared of the fire. Now that I've got the fire set up, I'm going to boil a pot of water for a pre-soak in a copper mordant. I put a bit of copper sulfate in, but this can be unsafe, so please be careful. I've heard that you can even just add some copper pipe or copper pennies into the bottom of the pot and it will do the same thing. This modern or fixative makes the dyes able to stick to the fibers more. I made the outfit that I'm wearing today, and the dress that I'm holding is a twirl or a first prototype of the design. It is made from a cheap calico to test out the design and see what needs to be changed. I ended up making it separates instead and changed the shape of the sleeves and the skirt. Normally I don't know what to do with my twirls because they are really well made, but they're very plain. So I've decided to dye them. Different fabrics take dye in different ways. Protein fibers that are from animal products like silk and wool dye best. Wool's spindle shaped cells and inner core have a high absorbency. This lets them take dye easily, but also is why wool is so warm and comfortable when you're wet. All this can be attributed to its origin as a fibre to protect sheep from their surroundings. Cellulose fibres from plants like linen and cotton don't take up dye as well. To help this process, I'm soaking them in soy milk. This gives the fibre some protein to attach the dye to.
After they soaked in the mordant for an hour, I'm now letting them dry while I start to soak the eucalyptus leaves. Now I'm putting in the leaves that I collected earlier. After another hour, I took out the leaves and added the clues. I kept stirring them often and left them simmering. It's getting dark, so I'm going to let the fire smolder till bedtime and then put it out and let the clothes soak overnight. Now I'm just casually stirring my cauldron under the full moon. Morning! I'm so excited to see. Now I'm going to rinse them out and let them dry.
a butterfly. I accidentally left a pin in and it made a charcoal spot. You can use iron as a mordant that darkens the colours, so I'm so excited to try this out next time. Hey. I'm so happy with the colours. It matches the surrounding landscapes and echoes the feeling of the Australian bush so well. These tones are so special to me. They remind me of the sound and shadows in the forest in the early morning. It's so interesting to see how the different fibres dive. From right to left is silk, cotton, polyester and linen. I'm so excited to experiment more with ingredients from the farm. We have turmeric, jackfruit, avocados, inkweed, ironbark, raspberries, spinach, mint and so many different types of eucalyptus. Maybe next time I'll try ironbark with an iron mordant to try to get a charcoal colour. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.